and welcome to Demon Questions from On Maths, where we look at different grades of really evil GCSE questions. Enjoy! Right, so today on Demon Questions, I'm doing three questions that have sort of been suggested or suggested directly uh, for me to go through. Um, there, a lot of them aren't problem solving and they're not maybe as difficult for some people but they are questions that some people find very difficult at C grade, B grade, A grade. So let's get started. First one up is our C grade question so let's have a look and see what we've got. So we've got a mean style question, it's not so mean though, so if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, let's go through this one. So, uh, this question, we're given three numbers. It doesn't matter that they're on cards. And we're missing a fourth number, uh, this one here. But we're told that the mean of the four numbers is 15. So, we need to find out the missing one. Now, if you know that the mean is 15 and you know there's four numbers, then what what some people like to do is think of the mean in a sort of triangle similar to speed distance time on the top uh, on the bottom left of the triangle is your mean on your top of the triangle is your total and on the bottom right it's the amount which I've not left an awful lot of room here so, normally when you find the mean, you get the totals, you add up all the numbers, and then you divide them by how many numbers there are. But, we want to find out the total of the four numbers. So instead, we're going to be getting the mean and timesing it by the amount of numbers. So our mean is 15, and the amount of numbers is 4. So if we times those together, we get 60. So therefore, all of these numbers are going to add up to 60. Well, what do they add up to so far? So what we do is we 9 plus the 10 plus the 15. So 10 plus 15 is 25, plus 10 would be 35, and then take away 1 because it's not quite 10, so 34. And then we can show the examiner exactly what we're doing. 60 take away 34 to see which what number remains. You can't do 0 take away 4, so I carry 1 over. So 10 take away 4 is 6. 5 take away 3 is 2. So our missing number is 26. And then we can just see if that makes sense. Right, so... Um, we know that these are going to add to 34. 34 plus 26 is going to be 60. And then 60 divided by the 4 is going to be 15. So we know we've got it right. Fantastic. So nice, quick, quick and easy one uh, to get us started. <laughs> Move on to the B grade one. So these are quite quick questions today. So let's have a look at the B grade one. And if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, let's have a go for it. So uh, some people uh, look at 3D coordinates and instantly panic. 3D coordinates work exactly the same as 2D coordinates. It's just, this is our x, like normal, this is our y, and then this is what we call a z value. That tells us how far out the page the coordinate's going to be. But the way you do this question is exactly the same as if it was two-dimensional, as in if there were just the two, x and y. And we just got to do it, the process we do with the x and the y again with the z. 
So A has the coordinate, so the X value is 3 at A. So the X value is going to be 3 at A. And then it travels along the line and halfway to where it gets to be, it gets to our midpoint. And at that midpoint, it is minus 10. So how far has it traveled to get from 3 to minus 10? Well, it's gone down 13. Because to get from 3 to minus 10, we go down 13. Therefore, it's going to go down another 13 on the way to B. So minus 10 take away 13 is going to be minus 23. And then we do the same with the Y. The Y is 6 at A and it's 0 at M, so we've taken away 6. And then to get to B, we're going to do the same thing. Do the same thing because this is the midpoint, this is the halfway point, so it's got to do the same thing again to get to B. So that's going to be minus 6. And then Z is just going to be exactly the same process. The Z value at A is 4. At M is 6, so this time it's gone up to. And it's going to do exactly the same thing to get to B. Up another 2, which would be 8. So our coordinate is minus 23, minus 6, and 8. And that's our two marks. Very simple, very straightforward. Don't panic if there is a Z coordinate. Don't panic that there's an X one. Just do exactly the same process with, that you've done with the X and the Y. Just do it with the Z. Excellent. So we're making good progress. Let's move on to our A, A star grade one. And again, these are short, snappy questions that you've suggested for me to do. So, if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go. Okay, let's go through it. So I've seen some really uh, inspired ways of doing this question that are completely wrong and don't get any marks. But people uh, that I've marked before try and find a common denominator or common factor with all of these individual terms. The only way that you're going to be doing this question is by factorising uh, the top and factorising the bottom. Sometimes the top will be a quadratic and sometimes it will be a linear. The bottom normally always is a quadratic with these questions. So once you've done a few of these, you will get better at it. Now you might look at the top and think, well hang on, that doesn't look like a quadratic. A quadratic has an x squared term, an x term and a number term. But of course, some of you would know straight away that that is going to be a difference of two squares. The rule with the difference of two squares is you'll have an x plus the square root of the number given, which is 4, and an x minus the 4. Okay, so that's my top factorised, which is good, halfway there. Now, we can cheat a little bit, and the reason we can cheat is that you can't simplify the fraction unless it has a bracket at the top and a bracket at the bottom that we can cancel. Now looking at this uh, quadratic here, two numbers add together to make a negative and multiply together to make a positive. The only way that can happen is if one of them is negative. So it's not going to be x plus 4 that's going to be the same because they're both, sorry, the only way that can happen is if they're both negative. So it's not going to be x plus 4 that's at the bottom, it'll be x minus 4. So already, I sort of know that there will be an x minus 4 term in that quadratic. So I've got to find out what the other one is to check my assumptions right. Well, this is an x term, so to make the 2x squared there, this one has to be a 2x. So that 2x times x will equal that 2x squared. And looking at the multiplication, we've got a 4 there, ignoring the sign because we know this one's going to be negative. 
got a 4 there and we've got to make 36. So 4 times mm, 9 is 36. Let's expand that to make sure we're right. So 2 times x is 2x squared. Uh, 2x times negative 4 is minus 8x. Minus 9 times x is minus 9x. And then minus 9 times minus 4 is positive uh, 36. And when these two go together, they will make negative 17, which is what it says in the question. So we know we're right. And then you just show the examiner that you're crossing off one top and bottom. And we don't need the brackets anymore there. So we just write x plus 4 at the top and 2x minus 9 at the bottom. You don't lose marks if you had the brackets in, but that's just not what we need to do. And that's it. That's us finished. So I did promise you a nice, quick, uh, punctual, punctual, non-waffly uh, episode today. Um, so those are three, uh, in fact two of those were questions that people asked directly. The third one was topic area that someone wanted to revise. If you have any um, demon questions yourself or anything you want me to go through, uh, please email me uh, or message me. I'll show you the how to get into contact in a second. Um, there are 190 odd different maths topics. Uh, the website at the moment covers quite a few of them but not all of them, and I'm making my way through, but if you want me to bump up a priority on one of the topics, please let me know. Um, all three of those questions and all the other demon questions I've done are available on the website for free for you to try, uh, and it marks it for you, and it tells you what the right answers are, and it lets you do it as many times as you want. So, if you have your own stuff uh, that you want to message, then that's how to get into contact with us. And if you enjoyed this very short video today, uh, please click like. If you really enjoyed it, please click subscribe. Thank you very much.